Well, folks, welcome back. Research here. This is level 10, the final level of this game, the fall of Vicksburg. Uh, if the last level was any indication of how urban this game can get, uh, this one just kind of takes it to its next uh, logical step. Union troops were in high spirits despite their first unsuccessful and bloody attack against Vicksburg on May 19, 1863. When General Grant passed, a soldier referred to him with admiration as hardtack. Soon all Union troops nearby were yelling, hardtack, hardtack, in honor of their tough commander. Union cooks joined in when they served the troops hardtack, beans, and coffee the evening of May 21. That night, Union forces pounded their target with 220 artillery pieces and naval gunfire. The next morning, Vicksburg was again shelled before the Union advanced along a three-mile front. At the harbor, a select group of soldiers prepared their assault on the weakest points of the city. This mission was designed to soften Vicksburg's defenses and lay the groundwork for a final Union victory. Listen up. We have intelligence that says the Redan, which protects the city, has been damaged, and the Rebs are moving in to repair it. Our orders are to destroy the barricade completely so that we can move our troops in. Let's move in. Soldier, you've proven that you're an excellent marksman. Be ready. If you see any sharpshooter in the area, make sure he regrets the day he was born. This fella is in my personal space. All right, final level, Vicksburg. Interesting place. You know, I don't know if I've ever heard that U.S. Grant was called hardtack. That's a new one for me. Uh, but I do know that uh, during the siege of Fort Henry and Fort Donaldson, he gained the name uh, Unconditional Surrender Grant. You know, his, his initials are U.S. Grant, and so they called him Unconditional Surrender Grant. And, uh, and that stuck. So here we are in the city. This level, while action-packed, is extremely short. So I'm going to sort of pad it out and try to use cover more and, you know, be a slightly more effective player than I have been. So you start with the Colt rifle and the Henry rifle, which is, I, I find, a little strange because the Henry rifle seems to be the favorite of the Confederates in this game. Colt rifle is useless. But the Colt pistol's pretty fun. So here we go, urban combat. This is this is basically how this entire level is going to play out. We've got lots of enemies hiding behind things. This is the Siege of Vicksburg, a uh, major event during the Civil War. This was the final military action in the Vicksburg campaign. Uh, and this was a series of, uh, of maneuvers set up by uh, General Grant. General Grant was not the commander of the entire army yet at this point. This is kind of where he proved himself as being a very effective military commander. He was in charge of the Army of the Tennessee when later on he became uh, the commander of the Army of the Potomac, but not yet. Uh, and he was fighting uh, Lieutenant General John Pemberton. Interesting thing about John Pemberton, he was actually a Unionist. Well, I, I take that back. He was a Northerner. He was from the North, but his wife was from the South. And so when the war kicked off, he decided to throw in with the Confederates. And uh, they put him in charge of the defense of Vicksburg. And... Uh, and he made a number of very poor decisions, like retreating into the city rather than marching out to uh, meet up with other nearby armies. And uh, and overall, it just uh, really did not work out very well. And he he lost Vicksburg, which was a very big deal. Hmm. Oh boy, this again. There. He lost Vicksburg, and the Confederates were so angry about this that they uh, they accused him of being a Union spy all along, that he never should have been put in charge of the defense of the city. I found that very interesting, that uh, they were happy to have him around until he messed up. Okay, here we go, we're getting sniped. This mission has a bonus objective of taking out some snipers. Here's our old pal, the Gatling gun. So 
So it's hard to keep track of all the events that are happening in the American Civil War, but the Siege of Vicksburg here is happening absolutely simultaneously with the Battle of Gettysburg. Uh, in fact, the city of Vicksburg falls on the last day of Gettysburg, uh, which is July 4th, 1863. So if you can imagine a bigger blow to morale in the Confederacy, let me know, because I sure can't. They lost Gettysburg and they lost Vicksburg on the same day. And oh, what a mess that was for them. People really point at, uh, get, at uh, the loss of the city of Vicksburg as being kind of the beginning of the decline of the Confederacy. They, they relied so much on Vicksburg, uh, not just for supplies and things, but also uh, the Mississippi River. When they lost Vicksburg, they lost the river. And so that's effectively split the Confederacy in half uh, and, uh, and was uh, basically what the old Anaconda plan was from way back at the beginning of the, uh, of the war when Winfield Scott was coming up with ideas for how the, uh, how the war should be run. The Siege of Vicksburg was a, a real mess uh, as far as things go. It, uh, well, many historians have looked back... Oh, oh, oh boy. Uh, historians have looked back at the Siege of Vicksburg and seen that it was basically a forerunner of the fighting on the Western Front there in World War I. There were trenches, there were people digging underground, it was a prolonged siege, making huge use of artillery. Uh, it is the thing that historians look back at and say the people involved in World War I should have seen this coming. They should have known it was going to be like this, how, how the Civil War really gave people their first taste of how, how uh, modern combat was going to play out. But Vicksburg had it real bad. They were under siege for six months. People ate everything they could eventually resorted to you know, eating rats and things. This was the middle of summer. This was July, so it was extremely hot. So not only is it hot, but you're also dodging shells all day long. So many people, soldiers and citizens, retreated into the hillsides. They would dig these tunnels. Uh, well, less tunnels, not, not like Viet Cong type stuff, but get little caves going several feet into the hillsides to escape the heat and to, ex uh, to escape the shelling. But what people did not account for was the incredible number of snakes in the hills that would come out and fill these caves. So I'm sure that was a real delight. So by all accounts, the Siege of Vicksburg was an absolute nightmare. The city was obliterated. And the people of Vicksburg were so disillusioned and disgusted by the entire experience and remember the city fell on july 4th that is american independence day that is the biggest holiday in america uh, it fell on july 4th and everywhere else in the country you know when you go around on july 4th you see fireworks you see celebrations you see all kinds of fun stuff the city of vicksburg did not celebrate the 4th of july for 80 years after the city fell even after the war was over, even after everyone had their homes back, the city fell on July 4th, and it was such a horrible experience, no one wanted to celebrate until basically everyone involved had died off, and then the city finally began to celebrate again. Vicksburg has a beautiful military and battlefield museum. They've got some excellent recreations of the forts and very interesting uh, information there about... Uh, about guns and things. Okay, here we are. So somehow this little pile of wagons is holding everybody back. We're going to blow this up with a barrel of powder. Okay, our guys are hanging out. They're excited, they're happy. Doesn't look like the wagons really went anywhere, but uh, but we did have a nice explosion. And that's it. That's, that's the end. That's the end of this level. It's the end of this game. It's the entire thing.
I want to like this game. I appreciate that it's a Civil War game, and I think that it's a decent execution, but boy, is it short. And there's not a whole ton of variety. Now, we're actually not done. There is one level left. There's a bonus level, and I'll show you that one next. Uh, but that's uh, that's it. Look at that. Completion time, eight minutes. And that was me kind of dragging my heels and uh, and fiddling around and trying to find that last sniper who I never, never managed to get. Um, when I play this normally, I finish this one in about five minutes. And that's about uh, par for the course for this game. Very, uh, very short levels. Uh, you know, I'm sure that's fine on a console, but... Uh, it's not a whole lot there, is there? So that's about it. So here under bonus, you have to find it in here. It's not under the levels areas. Bonus level, Siege. Remember the USS Pittsburgh? Well, that's basically what this one is. So we'll play that again later. But uh, for now, that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And next time we'll finish up the game. Bye now.